One, good. One quick question, so because I've worked with many banks uh, yeah. worldwide. As you said, and again, I love hearing that from, uh, from executives or uh, heads of marketing. It's great. You mentioned something very important. It's good to build audiences, like groups of people. Yeah. But it's equally important to make sure they're interested in what you have to say and they yeah. connect with the brand. Too many banks have tried... Uh, too many. No, not so many, sorry. A few banks have managed to build audiences and have quite a large um, fan base, for instance, on uh, Facebook, like we're talking in the 100,000 mark. So it's a good point you mentioned that. The problem yeah. they have is they don't really know who those people are. They don't know if those people are potential prospects. Are they really yeah. clients? What's the ability for them to convert those Facebook uh, fans into customers? Sure. Are they bothered? The fan, do they like the brand? So that's a key issue. As you, yeah, and again, I'm, I'm really glad you mentioned that, yeah. It's better probably to be smaller and to build yeah. very engaged communities, which yeah. can relate yeah. to your brand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I think uh, look, it's it's very easy to go out and, and buy a following, uh, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, you know some offer or uh, tests. Tests or yeah, what yeah. have you. you. Sign up, you'll get this, and you know that's that's a short term thing. Mm -hmm. You know, make it really good numbers, and and the marketers can run around and pound their chest, but the next day, <laughs> all those people don't care about what you're doing. And uh, so uh, I think most importantly is, uh, you know, being, being patient and, and sticking to your strategy. Uh, and that's, that's in the end, going to really build a, a core group of people who care about what you are and what you stand for.